Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hello. Hello, Dr. Boy. That's me. Hello. <laughs> Great. All right. So, we are Huspings and Hydras. This is our seventh episode. And, um... Who wants to talk about where we left off? <laughs> uh. Well, um, I remember that we had taken up refuge at the hot spring again. Mm -hmm. And we set up a watch. And Warren and I, uh, I being Flynn, we were on, on first watch. Um, I went out to a patrol and Warren was trying to do something with our prisoner. We were watching prisoner, I should clarify that. We were watching the wizard prisoner whose name escapes me, Jiraga. That's correct. And yes, so Flynn went off to do a patrol and then uh, Warren was trying to do something to Jiraga seems like taunting but there might have been a purpose to it I don't remember and then Jiraga did some weird magic and the ropes were absorbed into his body yep. and now he is free and then combat started and Flynn tackled him to the ground and cast cast a sleeping spell is that right so, Jiraga cast a spell of some variety. I don't think anyone's in a position to, like, identify the magic used. Um, and their body liquefied. Yes. At the same time, because, you know, combat is hectic. Things happen basically simultaneously all the time. Um, we saw Cass run in and desperately throw out a sleeping spell, which may or may not have been witnessed by the others there. Again, Cass uh, does have some magical knowledge, but has not been uh, open with this to the rest of the group. Um, threw a sleeping spell, and it did not seem to affect the pile of liquid body that was Jiraga, nor did it seem to affect Flynn, who was in the blast areas, but... Warren did appear to collapse. With this, it's worth pointing out that Todd, who plays Warren, uh, will not be here tonight, um, which is okay, as we'll, as we'll sort of uh, soon see. Uh, the very last thing we saw was, in fact, a sort of a snap into Warren's mind where the world was dark and he was very much alone. Um, yeah. Which, um... We probably won't be seeing what's happening there today <laughs> without without Todd here to witness it. But other than that, you are all sort of stanced up in the doorway of this small room that you are keeping Jiraga captive in, other than Flynn and Warren who are inside that room. Warren, of course, being asleep, as previously mentioned. We did leave off sort of in initiative, if I recall. Um, if you want to follow initiative order, feel free, but I don't know if it's strictly necessary here. Uh, what do people want to do as a sort of reaction to this situation? And we can sort of figure out if we need initiative or not from there. Cass, how are you feeling um, as you see your spell knock uh, Warren unconscious and... Uh, Jiraga's body liquefy into the floor. You are muted if you don't know. Oh, oops, Daisy. Uh, yes, uh, I think given the hecticness of the situation, um, I think Cat is very much like, okay, that, that's bad, but worry about that for now. I'm, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna just try to stay out of it, but that didn't work. Cool, you're just gonna sort of just pull a short sword and stab, cut into this like liquid amorphous body. Uh, the two things I know how to do, and I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna try it at first. Great, so you like pull out your short sword, sort of slash down into it, and while it does like have some give, it's not like it's water, um, 
it does it, it very much just like I guess give is the opposite that I what I meant. You know what I'm saying. Um it's some resistance. It's some resistance. Um it does feel like it's just sort of like slight like moving through a like a molasses, like a thick syrup. It's not so much matter that it's a thing, but it's also not like water. But as you do that, you do see that like it is like seeping into like the floorboards and stuff and like basically disappearing um as the seconds tick by. Mm. Uh, Puddles, Winston, Flynn, any immediate reactions? Where is Alderin right now? That's a good question. I believe Aldrin was uh, likewise sort of like in the door with everyone else. Um, for anyone listening, Aldrin is the... Uh, scout for the wizard's council a bird person who has been with you and is largely uh why everyone even like sort of knows about draga i mean flynn you you saw draga but conceptually and um yeah that's a great point uh, i probably would have forgotten that he's there because it's hard to keep track of all your npcs <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, th I think he was just in the doorway with everyone else. Like, he also arrived and didn't get a chance to do anything before this happened. Um, which is what I really... Oh, actually, that's a question. Is there any commotion? Are there any, like, guests, like, noticing the commotion? Yes. Things have happened very quickly. If you take a moment to breathe, you will start to hear, um... Depending on how busy the hot springs are, I don't know how busy it is all the time. I know there's at least a few guests that we've highlighted in previous scenes. Um, but you you do hear, like, doors opening and people, like, shuffling. Like, what is going on out there? What is, what is loud? What is that? You know, in the distance. puddles you were on your way over i don't remember if you made it all the way i think you did you said you broke out into a rung so you like you're there at the doorway you would have seen this happen i think based on the time what do you think my expectation was that um i'd spend the first round getting to the scene and that we'd go into normal initiative past that okay do you think that you, like, got there at a point where you saw, like, Jiraga cast the spell and disappear? Or not disappear, but, like, liquefy? Um, or do you think you sort of arrived and you're only just now looking in and seeing the sort of results of that? I'm really not sure. I think it's more convenient for play if I know what's going on. Great. Yeah, feel free. Um, cool. Do you have any initial responses to that? Does that? I want to know where your head's at before we proceed. Um, my head is kind of at this is weird, and we should try to figure out what we're gonna do about this. It doesn't really look like he's going anywhere. Um, I mean, it sort so, of does. Like, it does like, seem like he's like like seeping into the the, the floorboards. Um, as much as yeah, that I'm I'm gonna it. be like, like let's uh, oh oh drag. Is um, there a room below where we are? Where we are? Hmm, that's a great question, Winston. What do you think? How is the hot springs oriented? Are there different levels, or and and would you have been on a, a, a non floor level? Um, I imagine it, it, there are multiple levels because uh, it's like a winding cave system. It's um so the main hot springs are on like the floor level mm -hmm. like the first floor level but i think we're kind of first floor sort of tucked away like within like tunnels and tunnels and tunnels like we're in that area i imagine okay Flynn. i do just want to point out um just for con Continuancy's sake that I was walking past our window when Jiraga did the thing. It's maybe kind of irrelevant because that was mostly a flavor thing, but um, I was walking on the ground past our window. So we, we would have to be on ground floor, floor at least. So if there are uh, rooms underneath, we'd be on the ground. Yeah. Which is possible, I'm just saying, so we know where we're at. Great. 
That works for me. So as you stand there, looking at uh, the results of Jiraga liquefying, um, you do notice that they are like, it, it, they appear to be sinking into the ground and it, maybe there aren't floorboards. Maybe that's an incorrect statement, but they do seem to be like seeping into the floor and disappearing. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna like oh, this um Oh, we've got to get uh, got to get Warren out of there. Um, let's uh, lock the door and keep an eye on the on the basement. Uh, is there a basement? Did we did we verify that? Yeah, sure, I think so. Yeah, why not? It works. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's like where the kitchen is and whatnot. Uh, if if we're worried about him getting some going somewhere, that that would be it, right? Yeah, let's. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Um... Yeah, I think. Hmm. Actually, how does I all of this? I should put, put around. No, it's um... fine. We're not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not following initiative right now because this does sort of require a bit of discussion and planning it's even though i do want you to be quick about it also the idea of being like you're an initiative do you want to attack or hold an action it's like it ends up being very limiting to people's ability to come up with creative solutions usually yeah okay yeah, yeah. so i think I, I think like i'm hearing that i think i'm gonna okay let's see like oh yeah that sounds good i'm gonna right start running down there you're heading off to level. like where the it where this would lead what what's beneath uh, immediately under this okay that makes sense yeah yeah um i think <sighs> i've been there before i know i know, I know like big with land is mm -hmm. i'm trying to figure out what alderman's response is because puddles made a very reasonable suggestion but he's kind of mad at you right now <laughs> <laughs> and i'm trying to figure out how petty he is uh i think there's one thing that you failed to take into account is how incredibly charming man that is yeah. true. I think begrudgingly, yeah, he'll he'll like assist or do it himself, depending on if anyone helps. Um, like pull Warren out of the room. Um, and if he doesn't want to do that, that's fine. I'd rather he just stay out of the way anyway. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I don't. Yeah. So he's gonna help pull uh, Warren out of the room, um, into this sort of hallway leading in. Um. He's not in a position to close the door and lock it, if that is a thing you want to do. Um, so. You're all sort of bungled in the hall. Does everybody leave the room? Is that, was that the plan, to, like, everyone leave and lock the door? I think we should lock the door and, like, keep an eye on, on it, I guess. I don't know. I almost feel like we should split up until he becomes an entity again. Sure. I think just try to keep an eye on this blob and see what it does. Um, Flynn is gonna turn the alder in, kind of like, like a little bit angrily, um, and just be like, "How are we supposed to handle something like this? If you can just turn into liquid." At a whim, what do we put him in a jar? How, what do we do? Sounds like a good idea. Do we have a big jar? Maybe a barrel? That's water, right? Climbing right up, and it's for to me. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. It's not something right. I expected him to be doing. I, I do not know, but it's good. It's a, it's a start. Does oh, Percy, can you punch back the steed to like get down there fast? Sure. Uh, yeah. What was the question there, Flynn? Does Alderin have magic? Um, Alderin does not. Uh, has not sort of um, shown to inner, like in, innately have any magic. Um, we've seen them casting from a scroll, which is often something that needs to be like a learned skill. It's not something that everyone can do. Um, but casting without a scroll isn't something we've seen him do. 
Okay, so is it safe to assume they are not a wizard? Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they are a scout for the council, is how they've been described Flynn's, previously. Flynn's just kind of starting to wonder, like, um, why the council would send someone who seems so woefully unprepared. Mm. That's Maybe all. they're not from the council. Oh. He doesn't say anything, but he's he's got some wondering going on in his brain. Oh, cool. uh, Thank you for voicing them. It's interesting. Winston, you run off of to tweets. acquire a, a vessel that you can uh, keep. <laughs> you could collect uh, Jiraga in and secure them, uh, given the ability to do so. But, you know, you need to have the vessel available. Um, so you run off to, like, some storeroom, I think, right? That makes sense. Yeah, I'm just like frantically dumping turnips out of this giant wooden barrel. I'm just, you just see them falling onto the ground, all these veggies and garlic and stuff. Mm -hmm. As you are like doing that, um, this uh, beaver walks up behind you and they sort of go, Winston, what, what's, what's going on, boss? Um, and you see, uh, Clementine, who you know, they're sort of like a, like a handyman type person who, uh, who works at the hot springs. Oh, Clementine, help, help me, uh, empty this, this, this is an emergency, there's been a contamination in the hot springs. Oh my, I'll, 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 get, I'll get myself immediately. Uh, and so she'll, she'll run off and try and, uh, get, uh, you know, you said, like, a contamination? I guess the first thing they think of is to get, like... Mops and buckets and stuff. Uh, I don't know exactly. Honestly, the hot springs are closed. Tell tell the guests, wake them up. Uh, it's not safe here anymore. Oh, oh. it's that bad. All right, I'll let everyone know. Great. So she'll hey. run off and do that. Um, yeah. I think you previously mentioned that you had some like uh, help around the hot springs. So this is a yeah, beaver lady named yeah. Clementine. Yeah, <laughs> beaver's big. <laughs> yeah. All water creatures. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna just drag the uh, the barrel over to you guys. Excellent. Yeah. So you 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 get that barrel and you start hauling it back. Let's actually jump over to Cass because that's going to take a while. And Cass, you said you wanted to run down to where this would sort of seep down to. Um, yeah. Uh, with your speed, so you're going to get there. What um question for Winston? What do you think would be below this? Would this be like another room people would stay in, or would this be like? another sort of storeroom type situation or or some other thing i think the ground below is like all like um like uh sleeping quarters and then below that it's like storage and then below that it's like undiscovered things that nobody really goes to okay wait there's another level of flooring or uh, sorry of, of sleeping quarters below us this could be I, dripping I think, so. I think it's like an intricate cave system where it yeah. goes like miles underground. Oh, but we've cool. only discovered like the the three layers under underground. Yeah, that, that, makes, that, makes, that makes sense. So it's like um, so I can, like I imagine it's like nice and warm down there, actually. Yeah. So, so that'd be like right. a good that crash room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's and dark. Yeah, for certain folks, that's what they prefer. Mm hmm. I think because probably if this wasn't the case, Winston would have immediately been aware and think of it. Uh, I don't think this room is occupied that you're making your way to. So you you get there, you find a room. It's not locked. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone inside. But it is a room that someone you know could sleep in. Is available for you know use okay. when you get there, Cass. Um, what do you do? Um, is there anything, is there any sign of, like, it falling through? Uh, do you step into the room? I step into the room, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you open the door, you step in, look around, look up, mostly. Um, you're not seeing, like, goo dripping from the ceiling or anything, and just not, like, an obvious sign that, like, something 
would be like pooling above, I guess. I'm not sure how that would appear. Um, it's not like the ground has grown wet or anything, uh, as far as you can tell. Okay, so so it isn't going below the uh, so it isn't going to that to, to this area is what is what I'm seeing. Uh, doesn't seem to be here yet. If if they are. Hmm. That's tricky. Do I do I wait to see if it happens? That's gonna be like wait, it's a it's a trip. Yeah. Um. I think just the, I think I might find like a trash can or something. We'll have something for it to pull into. Okay. Like below where I think like it would uh, fall into, and then I think I head, head back up. And okay. The poor people, that's, that's off. That's off flying through. Great. So while you're busy doing that, um, Puddles and Flynn, Aldrin would be there as well. Um, you have Warren. Are you and you're sort of pulling them out and and locking the door? That was the plan. Is that correct? Yeah. Hopefully we can still see inside. Maybe we'll go to the window. Okay. Yeah, there's a window. You, you, if you want to sort of pull them out, move around. Um, puddles. Who is, who is, like, helping move Warren right now? Because Aldrin was motioning to, I, theoretically, I guess it... They might not have ended up being the one there if uh, the others of you uh, do that first. Doesn't time. matter to me. I, I guess all three Prada. of you could be. That's possible. Um, it can be yeah. me and Aldrin. That's fine. Flynn, um, well, wait. Where did Cass go? Did Cass go downstairs? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Flynn I think maybe Aldrin will... will even say like she ran off. Not sure. Um, Flynn will help move Warren. Great. As you are moving Warren, there is a very, like, sudden change in the ground beneath him, as if, like, a, like a hole just opens up. Um, everyone who is trying to move them, I need to make, like, a strength save, I think. Yes, I need to make you to make a strength saving throw. Uh, there's not actually a hole opening up, but it is like the ground has suddenly, uh, like, changed in appearance um to sort of becoming this uh, black I'm, I'm make a thing for emptiness right. uh no uh, all right. of you who are um moving them so puddles is that your 13 and flynn that's your five that's my nat one that's right okay um and i think I think it makes sense that all three of you would be uh, sort of pulling them together. So I will also have Aldrin make a roll. That's pretty good. And there's three of you. I think you you all feel the the like tension as uh, the body begins to sort of get sucked into the ground uh, in a way that like the visual and logical part of your brain can't fully parse. Um, but as, as you pull back on them, um, the, the, the sort of change in the ground snaps closed, um, and the, the, the tension goes away and you find you're pulling backwards, um, with no ill effect. Cass, you return. Yeah? You see Warren has been pulled back out of the room um there is a slight winded look on all of the other uh people who were pulling them um you did not see what had happened uh winston you can walk in at any time at this point um that you wish i'm rolling roll and i'm like here is oh my god what's going on um yeah uh, yeah, so I guess like, I I say like, well, they're not falling, they're not going through the floor, they're not going below if they're going anywhere. Um, what what do you what happened to you guys? I, I guess like no, I don't I don't think I say that because like, I think it's very well. You all look winded in a stressful situation. Never mind. Sure. Now, yeah. How on earth are we gonna get that thing into this barrel? That's that's my question. The floor is not safe. The floor is not safe. Oh no, the floor is not safe. 
Um, Aldrin is looking around, panicked. Not safe. What? What? More information, Aldrin. What do you mean? Just you how much you saw it too. There's something. I mean, that must have been Jiraga, right? Can he still do stuff like this? Like when he's just a giant blob? He is the most advanced transmutational wizard ever known. I do not know what he's capable of. Oh god, why did we take him back into this hot So what did he mean when he said that the floor is not safe? Like there was like a sinkhole, right? Yeah. Which tried to suck up Warren and then snapped close when you were able to pull him out of it. Yeah. Um, that is concerning. I guess maybe you guys can bring up the floorboards? I, I don't know. He might be in the, he might be in the floor, floorboards somehow. He has to have gone somewhere. Yes. If he can make the floor do that, how are we going to keep him in a barrel? Won't we be able to just, like, open a hole in the barrel? Very likely. It, it, it does look that way. I didn't know he could do that when, when I just did a barrel. I'll be honest. Maybe... I should, um, I should have just gone back to council with my report. Why did I think that I could... Ah, should never have gone after him. Uh, um... I... think fire might be what I wish to get there. Down the hall, you hear a dog yip. You oh. recognize it as one of the two dogs that you spoke to. I guess yesterday right. at this point. Yeah. Was it only a day? It's been a long like, time. Yeah. I feel like we spent at least oh, one yeah. night on the road. No, you've been we just not... walking all night. Oi. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's been, been one like... long night. That has been the game so far. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's. Uh. I guess I'll I'll go over and see what that is. I'd be like a good they one. Uh, Cass, as you sort of bolt down the hall, um, you're fast. I'll give you that. You get there in time to see um, the, like, this this black hole closing and uh, the, the, just a paw. It sucked into it. Um, oh! And it is just gone. Oh, no. Um... I don't. Uh, it, 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 it's just so. So there's no one there in the room. No. Oh no. We're, we're to, oh, to be clear. We actually, you had sort of ran down the hall. This was a voice from the hall. Um, somebody had left their room, and so you could, I guess, yeah, you um, could try and guess what room they came out of and check to see if anyone's in there. I suppose, but you don't find anyone. Um, I think I might like say like, like oh, probably Clementine's been doing this too. But I think I'm gonna like start yelling like, everyone, we, we gotta go. There's a, there's a fire. And I think I'm gonna like start like take a torch and like throw and like throw it on the ground to, like start a fire as like a reason for uh <laughs> to get you to leave. All right. Yeah. Great. Um, uh, people start waking up. Like, what is going on? Um, yeah, I don't know how many current, you know, occupants of the uh, hot springs there are, but you you managed to assist Clementine in their efforts. Uh, I will take note that two people are working to evacuate as best they can. Yeah, help in I don't that. I want endeavor. any more the dog feels it to get like sucked in. Yeah. Um, 
Are we also going to deal with putting out the fire? <laughs> I, I'm going to put a fire by help. Is Winston going to get sued? Um, Is uh, what? Winston's going to get like so many lawsuits from this. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, the, the the king's sons right here. Yeah. Oh. He'll, he'll, he'll back you up. Parents, mm -hmm. but I know all help. I uh, the ruler of this area. Uh, yeah, Flynn's gonna. Um, Flynn's going to try and help with the evacuation. Um, oh my god. Such a clusterfuck. Mm -hmm. Does Cass tell us what happened to that dog Like while well, we're trying to help people evacuate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I, think I might run back. Like, someone just got sucked in. We, we got to get everyone out of here. Okay, so while we're like trying to get people out, mm -hmm. um, Flynn's going to be asking Alderan, like, where did they go? What What is Jiraga doing with them? Do we have any way of knowing? I don't know anything anymore. <sighs> I wonder if Puddles can, can like, make an archive check based on what they read with uh, in the notes. Hmm? Does, have, does it look like the Jiraga blog has split? into pieces or is it all one is it all connected what do you mean like is it one contiguous entity um like is it dripping is it separating into pieces like like water would so you don't see anything of Jiraga at this point well can i see the goo that he turned into uh, no, no, it disappeared into the floor. Oh, we love you. Oh, oh it's completely gone. gone into the floor. Whoa. Okay, that was oh, not good. Oh, God, creepy. you could be uh, anywhere. So, yeah, I'm going to... Sorry. And, um, we're in safe now. Pardon? Is we're in safe now? Um, I mean, until the next time something tries to swallow him, I guess. Yeah, as safe as any of us who are on a floor. Well, he went through, like, Jura went through the floor and then went to the basement, right? That's no. what it looks like. No, no I mean, it's, it's, it's like he's not, he's not, he's not like he's in the basement. Cass ran downstairs, didn't see any sign of Jiraga, or even, like, the ceiling growing in wetness or anything, uh, and came back. I mean, maybe they're down there now, the time has passed, but um, I think the assumption would be that they are in the floor they are just like moving like moving through the walls kind of a thing but it's the floor okay i'm lost then yeah right. he's just, just like know, he's just like one with the wood puddles can you um, make either a dexterity or a strength check as you feel the ground below you open up certainly you can choose whichever stat you think you would Saving use. throw, you mean? Strength or dex? Yeah, saving throw, if I didn't say that. Sorry. You said check. I got a seven. Great. Um, you feel the ground open beneath you, and you feel like you are falling into mud with no bottom. Um, like you're falling into a deep river or something. Um, and those next to you... Uh, well, Can I like essentially grab grab him or uh, yeah, I think, I think you should have a chance. Can yeah. I just entangle on I, I, I have dexterity. Um I could yeah. I'll get to you in a second, Winston. Uh the immediate reaction of okay, wait, you you notice puddles just drop. Uh, they're like to their waist before you have a chance to react, make a dexterity saving throw to grab them. And then uh, even if I you take succeed, a deep breath. As I feel, as I'm falling, I take a deep breath. Noted. Thank you. Even if you succeed, you will then need to make a strength check. Is what I was gonna say. Um, dexterity save. Dexterity save. Uh, great. Those will both succeed. Flynn and 
uh, Cass, you each grab like an arm of uh, of puddles, uh, quickly jumping into action. Hmm. You're both going to work together to pull him back out, I'm thinking. As opposed yeah. to it being like a save here. So one of you can make an athletics check with advantage. I have bad athletics, so... I have good athletics. I'll do it. All right, and then I can... And yeah. I'll, I'll give the advantage. Whew. All right. Uh, Flynn, natural 20, 24 total. Um, you dig your heels <laughs> in. Two of you pull uh, slowly rising back up out of the ground. Um, puddles, you, you feel yourself being lifted and pulled away um from it uh as this is happening uh the 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 ground snaps shut again um no sign that it was ever there uh i need to make a check oh boy so how about that evacuation yeah yeah everyone out solid ground now okay Great. Um, you all sort of start to sprint, basically. You're calling for everyone who is still around. You see um, uh, Clementine directing people as best she can, um, and you, you know, beat feet to get away from the hot springs um, as far as you'd like. Where are you all going? I guess just to the road? Winston? I, I got oh, this way! This way! This is the quickest exit. I'm talking. I, I'm trying to. I I try to find my way to, to ch- talk to Winston as quickly as I can. Well, you have telepathy. Like, <laughs> that's also true. Um, so probably I, you reach out before you even realize you're close enough to talk. Probably. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so you, then you you hear in your. In your head, Winston. Like, oh, I'm so sorry, Winston. I think we need to burn down your inn. And then you, you, there's like an image in your head that I'm like, I'm picturing of like us and all the guests like standing in a circle around the inn with it on fire, with like trying to making sure Jaraga doesn't get out. I'm realizing one thing watching that I skipped out. past, which is what are you doing with Warren, who is still asleep? Oh no. We'll have to carry them with us. Um, right. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe uh, Flynn and I can, can carry Warren. I was going to say, um, if, if, uh, if Winston's okay with this, Winston seems considerably larger than the rest of us, and I think Warren was our smallest party member. Do we want to just retcon that Winston just, like, slung Warren over their shoulder and, like, just hauled ass out of the inn first thing when we started evacuating everyone? Seems appropriate. I'm okay with that, yeah. yeah. I don't even need to consider it a retcon. We're just sort of moving through things quickly. I have the note in my pocket as well. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) As you are leaving, um, you... You know, see uh, Jez, the mouse that you rescued, I guess? Uh, yeah, that's appropriate. Uh, earlier. Yeah. Um, who is sort of uh, trying to make their way over. Uh, it's not like there's like a huge crowd and they can't push through or anything. There's not that many people. Um, but you can see they are visibly exhausted still um, from the fight and from just, you know, blood loss. Uh <laughs> Yeah. And, um, they are, they are, you know, they see you and they're making their way over. It's still like, you know, head spinning of like what's going on, but also kind of like, kind of like, like, I think they, they know in their bones of like, okay, there was some ridiculous thing back out there in the river. Something ridiculous is happening here. That tracks. I'm not going to question this. Right. Um, but they, they, they yeah. start making their way out too. um, and I think as they do, with you being close enough that I'm going to let you intercede, um, you see as they the a black hole like, a, a, begins appearing beneath them as they are making their way, uh, more slowly than the others who are evacuating. Oh god, can I reach out to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. 
Sure. Um, when you say a black hole, you mean like like a pit? The ground beneath them like becomes black underneath their feet in like a perfect circle. That's what you've been seeing. Oh, that's and it sort of like expands oh, out from what a I've point. Been visualizing. But it's it's the same like hole appearing that, that has been happening thus far. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's like from a point, a, a a circle expands, and that is a black circle of of ground. Um, but having like stood on it, puddles, it does not feel like the stone that is beneath your feet now. Um, Winston, you were the first okay. to react. Um, Make me a dexterity saving throw. Very good. You rush over to where Jez is. You grab them. Still hauling um, Warren, I imagine. Um, uh, make me an athletics check. It, I think, yeah. You, you're holding two people. Even though you get there pretty quickly. Like, you're reacting before they get sucked in. Uh, and there you go. Yeah, 21. Um, you bolt over put your arm around them and pull away. Um, they lose like a shoe or something in the, uh, or boot. They're wearing boots in this drawing, I'm noticing. Uh, this drawing that I drew, but whatever. Um, um, gets like sucked into the hole uh, as they, uh, as you pull them off. Um, uh, thank you. What? No, I don't need to know. Tell me later. Uh, and you make your way out. I think we sort of scene cut there, unless there's something else anyone wants to do before. Uh, I'm curious how the sound of the fire. Do we smell like smoke or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, if the the fire probably did go untended, that the fire you lit. So sure, yes, that's starting to spread. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking to to help the fire get started too. Fire a few flaming bolts behind. Yeah, did Winston respond to uh, Puddles' like, mind talking? Oh, I think Winston will just be like, well, it's your home first, I guess. So you, you, you decide. I've just been renting uh, your home all these years, rent-free, <laughs> after all. Did, um, does Puddles have enough control over his, like, telepathy to, uh, to pinpoint who's receiving it yet, or are we all just hearing his thoughts? Um, I don't know. Which would you It like? might be... Yeah. Uh, I, I think that it's getting a bit better. Like, I was intending to try to talk to Winston, so, like, I think that if, like, I'm getting used to it, I think probably... I don't know if I constitute it as like control to like make sure that only Winston is hearing me, but right because I think that Winston's probably the one who hears it because that's who I was trying to talk to. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm just worried that burning it down won't really help much, but I think we we've got to do that. Yeah. So like yeah, the right force right. in particular, the force would be up if any of them were made a point. Sorry, what's that, design. Chris? You're breaking up. Uh any of the floors that we've seen like open up, presumably due to Chiraga's influence. Mm -hmm. Um, if any of them are made of wood. Um, all like fire fire bolts open. Right, fire bolt wherever you see it opening. Yeah. Yeah, as, especially if it's if it's in something that's like flammable. Yeah, we get a sequence of uh, of you, ex you know, evacuating and and helping as many guests as you can, and guests evacuating, and it's like interspersed with with puddles just snorting fire bolts uh, uh, behind you as you as you make your escape. Um, yeah. You we sort of cut to. I'm guessing sort of the road. I don't know why that's necessarily safer than anywhere else, but that is, I imagine, where you go. Unless you go to the water. Do you go to the water? That's an option, I guess. Hmm. Everything's catching on fire. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to encourage people to make a perimeter around the, around the building 
like maybe we'll even do like a like a bucket line so that we can stop the flames from spreading and but more specifically we're trying to stop Jiraga from spreading. Mm, good idea. Okay, so you're not like completely leaving the premises just like anything that's like a building, I guess. Cause I don't know how much it was a building, right? Like uh Mocha, you've been describing it as very much like cave networks and stuff that have been then uh, built upon. Um, I, I've been picturing that there was like a hot springs like you think of as like a like a natural hot tub and then next to that there was like an inn that was built where she was like hosting people and then they like go get their towels on and then go into the hot springs, right? And then they'd come back into the inn and sleep, right? Right, I'm just yeah, not sure how. Like, like the main entrance, the That's inn, and then sort of like past that there's like the you enter a tunnel system and it goes everywhere but i think there's only one way out uh it's the main entrance there you go yeah. Yeah. i'm happy for you to enact basically any plan that you're thinking just where do you want to cut to so we can sort of see that i'm not entirely sure the intent of everyone um hmm. uh, well what i've been picturing and if anybody is opposed to think something's missing would be that we evacuate and the building is on fire and Chirago was in the building. Oh, I actually, you know and... what? Sorry, sorry. Um, I think I might, might actually do something kind of full time. I think I'll run in and get my orb. I don't think I have it. Nice. I've been living out of suitcase. I don't think anything else is like super like important, but I think that's actually super important to me. I like yeah. it. Um, so I imagine that you think to do this prior to like everything being on fire and everyone already being evacuated. So. It's not going to be, like, the most risky thing, but we will play it out. So I do like that. It's a good scene. Um, before we do that, I'm thinking... No, we'll do that first. I, yeah, okay. So as you are all evacuating, um, Cass splits off. I'm not sure if anyone even really notices. It's kind of hectic situation. Um, and, you know, bolts over to the room that you were staying in, Cass. Yeah. Well, um, I think two things I, I, sh I should get. I think I should get the orb, and I think I should maybe go to Paul's room and, and grab the notes. Great. Um, I think that yeah. the notes were with... Oh, go to Puddle's room, that's what we said. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's that's a good point. Probably Puddle's would Wait, be... my room? Yeah. yeah. Puddle's, did, did, I mean, were you carrying the notes on you, or did you leave them in your room? They'd be in my room, but my room is in the Oh, right. It's a completely different, like, building, because it's yeah, actually where you live. This it's is Winston's Inn, and the then hospital. there was, like, my hut that predates Winston's Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I guess, like, if, like, I don't know, any, any, anything, uh, like, I guess any, anything that, like, is, is vital, and also, like, uh, my, the orb. Anything vital, like, the easily grab, and also the orb. Great. Yeah. You rush over there... You know where it is. You go in, grab it, um, maybe start to pick up a random thing, maybe not, I don't know. Um, and as you turn to leave, uh, you immediately feel the the, 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 the the chilling sensation beneath your feet. What do you do? I, I want to I jump out of the way as, make, as I do that. Make me a dexterity save. All right, cool. Uh, don't lo don't roll low now. Um, oh, uh, what's my proficiency bonus actually? Um, uh, it should be two at this level. All right, cool. Okay, uh, yeah, you 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 feel it. Cat reflexes jump past. Um, sort of look over your shoulder and see it snapping shut again. Um, as you sprint back out. Um, I think as you are running, uh, since you're sort of behind where the rest of the group is at this point, um, you are seeing, like, this spot sort of 
open in front of you and then shut and then open and shut like sort of like trying to like appear before you as you run but you keep like dodging it as it goes like it is matching pace with you um mm. as as trying to get ahead but unable to actually grab you um at the the rate you are moving and at your ability to you know uh react your yeah your reaction time um to yeah. be able to redirect your, your your movement um as the rest of you look back and sort of see Cass, you know um rejoining you which doesn't take that long she is faster than you are um you will notice that as you leave the sort of building the like main grounds of the hot springs that um this this spot that is trying to sort of um corner cast ineffectively um is continuing to expand outside of the immediate building the immediate grounds what do you do wait what do you mean like expand outside the immediate grounds? i mean that um it's not just appearing on like a wooden floor or uh, anything it is it is appearing in the the forest floor um, oh uh, we're outside now yeah okay yeah that makes sense so like is it following any sort of pattern like what what are we seeing um i'm merely saying that it, you were implying to me before that you thought it would be contained to the building uh, and it does not appear to be so um you are seeing this this spot appear on the ground of the forest floor in as much as the um the stone floor or the wooden floor that you were seeing previous um uh, attempting to appear in front of Cass and catch her and, and and failing to do so because she's able to jump out of the way and it snaps closed again and then you're seeing it again appear like another 10 15 feet away from the last spot I wonder if you shoot a fireball, fireball into the hole. Maybe you should try that. Can we all attack the opening and see if it does any damage? Sure. I mean, if you are able to coordinate and you wish to do so, uh, you can all um, time yourselves to be able to. Like, how does it? Like, how does it? Is it following a path from the house towards? Cass? It seems that every time this like hole is appearing, it is like no more than like I'm gonna say like 15 feet from the last spot you saw it appear, as if it's like moving. Just it's closed during part of the movement through the ground. Can I okay. poison spray? So into the it hole? it did cross our perimeter line then somehow. Well, I mean, tell me about this perimeter line, I guess. Um, the idea was that we would like surround the house and like watch for it to watch for it to flee the house. Right. So it has fleed the house, if you want to use those terms. Um, I don't think it's passed you yet. It probably would stop and try to get you if if it, if it got to you. But what are you doing to stop it from doing that? I guess I don't understand how it's a perimeter line. Like oh. it's a circle of people around the house, so like so we would know where where it went. Yeah, I'm I mean, telling yeah, you, yeah, we you're were seeing just it. creating like a, like a survey line so that we could see if something tried to escape. I right, mean, and literally, yeah. right now you are seeing it try to escape. Yes, <laughs> that is what you're seeing. Okay. As Cass rejoins the line, um, okay, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll converge on Cass. I guess we should. I try to stay close to it. Um, Great. I guess. Uh, you Breath see Winston start to ready it, a spell. I don't know. We yeah. can't tell what's going on, what it's doing. Great. Um, as you watch it trying to like catch Cass alone, because she is the one who is most on her own at the moment, um, you, you know, the, 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 the three of you, I imagine, um, sort of coordinate various attacks and predict where it's going to appear next in front of Kaz as she runs and you may make a sort of alpha strike this thing if you wish 
Sure, yeah, I gotta try something. Great. Um, so each of you three, I'd like you to make a, an attack of whatever variety you wish. Um, I know that, Winston, you said you wanted to do a um, poison spray, wanna... uh, which I think is a pretty short range, but I'll allow it. It's fine. Um, Puddle, if you're shooting a firebolt, very good. Um, um, Flynn readies longbow. Um, oh, poison spray is a saving throw. That makes sense. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to... Yeah. Okay, great. So you coordinate this attack. Uh, arrow flies, firebolt blasts, um, spray of poison comes out. Uh, I don't know exactly how this looks for you, um, Winston. I'm curious what you're doing, um, just for my own amusement. Oh, I... Because all my attacks, I think, are based on me stomping the ground, so mm. I start, like, rap stomping, almost like tap dancing, and then there's little puffs of poison just start spurting out from the dirt, and then I kind of just push the air into wherever it's going to go. Great. Um, so, as the hole opens, this arrow, firebolt, and this sort of cloud of poison, like, pour into it, and as it, like, gets close, you see it, like, actually sort of distort in the air and get sucked into the the, the hole. Uh, the hole then snaps shut again, uh, even, like, before Cass has, like, reached and dodged the hole. Um, I don't think you can make a assessment of whether or not it affected it, but it did respond to the approaching uh, missiles, if that makes sense. <laughs> Cass, you make it to the the line. Um, yeah. Um, everyone looks back, and you are not seeing the hole reappear. Currently, um, the what flammable parts of the building can be on fire are. Um, you look up and down the line. I don't know if the actual uh, uh, visitors of the hot springs are lined up with you necessarily i don't think anyone really made an effort to sort of like convince everyone that they should if you want to i guess we can do that um because i think a lot of them would probably be like what the heck let's let's run away but also some would just be like well it's better to be with people than to be alone so they're going to stay with yeah. so there's sort of a unless there's like a concerted effort to be like let's all be in a line and and form up um which might happen right we got a a, a soldier here um you lived through a war um who might be good at coordinating people i guess probably not you're you're a medic but whatever uh, <laughs> um what do you think i guess is my question um did, was there a concerted effort to like sort of make this line we've described it but that might have just been like you you know four people Uh, well, have we, did you, so the, the hole has stopped? Is you that have, clear? Uh, since you attacked it and Cass reached the line, you have not seen it attempt to reappear. Um, okay. But prior to Cass, okay. like, bolting down, um, to reach back to you, you hadn't seen it, like, appearing with such consistency as then either, so it might just not see an opportunity, or you might have affected it dramatically. Hmm. Um, I, I'm going to try to get people in to form a bucket line so we can like move water from the hot springs to or some other or the well or something. Right, to mostly to, to contain fire. the fire. Yeah, okay. To make yeah, sure that sounds good. Be, yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, I, I think I think like given like kind of the I was going to say time period, but I feel like you know like yeah, I, think, I think people like, would like kind of get like a bucket line idea and like i think people are worried um like they don't, they don't want to like necessarily venture off on their own in such a way um they don't want to spread out yeah so i i mean they can work you can work together with people to do the best you can i don't know if people are going to like spread out into a line if that makes sense oh, yeah. also i don't know how many people there are here uh winston what do you think what is the sort of general uh, visiting populace of 
the hot springs on a, on a regular weekday probably like a dozen at right. most there you go great so i don't think you have a full dozen here i think that partially that is because well you are part of that dozen uh, second of all because um i think a lot of them had already left before um some of the concerted effort was um clementine was able to get at least like a family out let's say before that so that's you're down another you know two or three people um so including you there's probably you know eight or nine of you yeah um Okay, so unless something else, I'm not sure what we're waiting on. Um, unless something else, unless something changes, I think we're trying to do some firefighting. Okay. Um, yes, let's save this in. You, you know, get what buckets you have. I don't know if you grab buckets before leaving, but sure, why not? Um, okay. And, you know, get water. I don't know, hopefully, we have a shed or something. Um, as you move back closer to the uh, the building to douse the flames, uh, who haven't I picked on? I guess Flynn. Did I? I don't think I picked on Flynn ever. Flynn, I want you to make me a save. A save. Um, what save? Yeah, make a dexterity save. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because. You're ready to zip out of the way. Yep, another one opens up beneath you, and you duck out of the way. Not surprised. This is what you're expecting. And it is... It's taken a toll. Just, like, the idea of, like, expecting that and needing to always be ready to jump out of the way at the moment's notice because oh, that, that it might happen. Um, I think all of you are very much on edge of, like, this is just a thing we have to deal with right now uh, but definitively you did see um this this sort of black hole attempt to open up beneath uh flynn um so it, it's still taking action although does not appear to be no, if we're seeing it again i'll try to throw fireballs at it again great yeah i think i actually try to like throw a real frost at it Ooh, that's interesting because it uh, slow it down yeah yeah all right. Uh, yeah, make, just make attack rolls. I'm not going to make you make, like, a dexterity check to react fast enough or anything. Uh, okay. Uh, just, uh... Yeah, Cass got a 7, and Puddle's got a 12. Great. Uh, cold, icy light and uh, firebolt, you know, meet in this uh, this... this black amorphous pool um which then snaps shut um in response uh sort of consuming the magical energy uh, you see it like get distorted and like twist in the air um like light bending um as it meets or approaches the uh the hole and snaps closed huh is it can i like look for any kind of like using my cat eyes like look for any kind of like um distortion that might that might exist even if the hole is closed hmm. interesting um i'm not sure what you're looking for exactly um any the... just any way to tell like where it is when it's not open oh i see cool looking for the dark templar shimmer yeah <laughs> All right, so you think yeah, that magic would work. Does like magic might right? This is like literally an ongoing spell, as far as you can tell. Um, Ooh, we could do that. So, Cass, um, yeah. I feel like you have two approaches. One is just I'm gonna look for anything suspicious and hope I see something suspicious, and the other one is I'm gonna try and think of what tells there might be. So I can look specifically for them, right? One is like an Arcana check, and one is a just a perception. 
I think I'm gonna do the one that's perception, which is just like look for look for any kind of okay, like uh, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, well, I, actually, you know, what? Yeah, maybe I will do an arcana. Yeah, actually, actually, I just be noticing my arcana rolls higher than my perception roll. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, actually, that makes more sense. Thinking like, what could possibly like, it, like it could be like, do I see like a leaf leaves falling into into the ground or anything like that, or like uh, hmm. anything anything like that? I guess. Okay. Like a thing, test. yeah. Yeah, mate. Give me an arcana oh. check. That is a twenty. I figured something out. Hopefully. Sorry. I figured something out. Hopefully. Hopefully. You. Good 20. Not a natural 20, but it is a 20. Yeah. You watch as it closes, and what you... Well, I guess you're using Arcana Check to actually sort of figure out what's going on, right? And and how you would do this. So, I guess you, as you observe its behavior and think about magical theory, you do believe that there is some force that is moving through the ground, and while it is non-exposed you can't see anything but there is a portion of like approaching the surface that takes a moment right um and yeah. in the act of approaching the surface you can preemptively see us or, or you, you you're sure there would be i guess is a better way of saying that because again this is not a contract um a, a, a minor distortion in the ground itself before the hole opens. So while you cannot actually track where it is in the ground, you can preempt it opening. Okay, so I think like next time it opens, I want to be able to like see see it open beforehand and yeah. point it out to people to to like attack attack right. it. Likewise, um, based on what you've seen before, it's only ever moved like. 15 feet at a time before opening again. Um, yeah. So, Kath, do ahead. you tell us that you can? Yeah, yeah it's, I, I think I might say, I mean, like, depends on like, if I have time to get it out before it opens up again. But, like, yeah, I think I will say, I think they know it's going to pop out next. Something like that. Yeah. So, you I, can I mean, watch, tell where it's going to pop out next. You can watch basically, like, a 15 foot radius from the last point and be pretty sure that that is the only spot you should have to watch for that distortion. And it, then you it, can point out that it, distortion it, before it opens. Yeah. So I think I say it's going to be if somewhere it's somehow, like 15 feet. Yeah. If it somehow moved like further than 15 feet at a time, then you wouldn't be able to like look everywhere at once, right? You don't innately know where it is, but if you're surveying the entire area where it could be, you will be able to see it before it opens, if, if that makes sense. All right, cool. Right. Um, okay, assuming that uh, the cast is able to convey this all to us in a, in a few words, mm -hmm. yeah. um, Flynn, uh, Flynn is going to really quickly um, run up, or like, oh, give me a second to formulate this. Um, mm -hmm. Cass, I need to get high. I'm going to try and, and I'm going to light a torch. I'm going to set my arrows on fire and I'm going to try and um, shoot it from up high where it hopefully can't get me. Do you want to come with me so you can see more? Yeah, yeah. Me it, 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 good, yeah. And then we'll, we'll go find up the tree. Yes. Yeah. Great. We're good at climbing. Yeah. <laughs> While oh, you oh are, <laughs> um, you know, putting that plan into action, um, Puddles, Winston, you you are simply uh you know coordinating people and trying to get the buckets still thrown together, or has that plan changed since seeing the uh you know uh, attack continue? Uh, I'm gonna encourage anyone. I'm gonna encourage the the um, guests to continue trying to throw the fire, but um, I'm gonna join the crew here and. Trying to trying to fight Jiraka. Hopefully we can 
do something to deal with the issue itself. Okay. Are you following to like the trying to get to a higher vantage or are you staying on the ground? Uh, likewise, I guess I just uh, I'll stay point. on the ground, but I'm going to try to like coordinate the attacks with the predictions from. Okay, no, uh, that that makes sense. Um, as yeah, you are I, trying to maybe I'll try to notice the predict. Like maybe I'll try to predict the things well. But yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah. Knowing what um, Cass has said, then you can also be like, oh yeah, that makes sense, and try and put that together. Um, mm -hmm. I don't have a good reason for why. Cast you succeeding in your arcana check allows you to do it, but knowing what you learned from the arcana check is not enough for other people to, but I, I don't think it is for some reason. Um, well, it's I hard mean, to explain exactly what you're thinking, right? Check. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I only would say that maybe I could do that because like my arcana is also quite good, yeah. so I can see if like what she said um, triggers. An, uh, like a little bit of an epiphany. Yeah. You yeah. know what? Actually, also, also, uh, puddles make a arcana check with advantage. You know what you're looking for. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Good thing you're the advantage. Um. Yep. Yeah, you 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 are certain that you would also be able to preempt where it is appearing, uh, when it next does. Um. Yeah, as... I guess my like twenty three is pretty much the exact same as twenty, so I probably don't have any new information. You have no new information, no. Um, you just simply needed to get at least a twenty. <laughs> um, Cass and Flynn, you said you're trying to get somewhere with a higher vantage. Um, the the uh, building of the hot springs is on fire. Um, are you trying to find a different spot, or are you simply trying to put out the fire as you go? Um, I guess plot the fire as we go. Um, I mean, do we need to? We were. I, I thought we were just going to try and climb a tree. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. There should be a nearby tree, right? There are trees. A tree is the forest. There are tr yeah. yeah, it's got to be a tree that's nearby enough. enough. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll do that. There are trees. There it's are the forest. Yeah. <laughs> there are trees. Mm -hmm. And while there is a it raging is a fire in the middle of this forest, you know, maybe maybe. Good job on everyone trying to put that out. Um, it's not going to just spread to the nearby trees immediately. This is not like a dry brush, right? This is healthy living trees full of water. Um, yeah. So the building is burning. The trees, uh, not so much right now. I was certainly concerned that lighting fire to everything might do nothing. But uh, we've got to do something. Yeah. Yeah, do something. Um, yeah, great. Do something. So you, you, you hurry up. Squirrel, cat, you can climb perfectly fine um, and get yeah. into your the, the, the vantage you wish to. Um, on the ground puddles, um, at this point you have effectively deduced, yes, it has to sort of open up again and then close before it can move another like 15 feet uh, is what you've observed. So you can simply not be that close to the point you last saw it at, if you wish, or you can approach it. It's up to you. What do you do? Um. Also, wait, 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 wait. puddles. Yeah, I meant puddles. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, um I'm going to unless someone like yells at me and tells me I have a, ter I have a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm actually going to sort of broadcast telepathically to my friends, to my party members. Okay. Um, it seems like it... It seems like it... Um, reveals itself when it's trying to attack us. So... I'm going to try to bait it. Okay. Um, uh, speaking of... So if I walk to towards it, get ready to zap it. Cool. Uh, Winston, where are you in all this? I think I've lost track of you, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm going to give Lauren and the mice the Clementine to watch so I don't put them in danger. Okay. And can I, um, can I entangle puddles a little bit? Just have like a vine around him so if he gets pulled 
in, I can pull them out. Yeah. Hmm. I don't... Or be, or be prepared to do that, do that, maybe? I don't think so, yeah. but you could, like, I don't know, tie a rope around them or something and hold on to it. Ah, uh, yes. That, that would work. original entangle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah likewise, though, I mean, there it, might be something to be said for, like, untangling the area in which it is active, and maybe that would do something. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Um, if you just want to be able to pull on puddles if and when they get sucked into this hole uh, a rope would probably be your your first thought as a as a character living in this world yeah. okay puddles can i put a rope around your shell yeah sounds good okay great all right um, you all right let's that, see this you get ready um i think as you're sort of doing this it's already kind of it, you do see um um like a black spot since you're actually cast and eh, yeah. i'm gonna say puddles too because you did make that good roll um you see that it's about to come up um at the edge of again sort of that 15 foot radius that you were expecting um moving sort of towards um where you're seeing people helping with the sort of firefighting situation um so you preemptively see that it's like about to do that before you've even like done the whole rope thing because it's not actually opening beneath you, Puddles. You're outside of that range. Um, yeah. You do see that it's, like, about to... It, it's, it's, like, yeah, it's if like you see this, right like, there. distortion, like, getting close to the surface of the ground. Um, yeah, so, so, so yeah, I'm definitely going to point it out to Flynn. And... So, I... Can I see it as well? Yes, yeah. You're you're not busy, you're just okay. being tied. Is it heading towards me? Uh no, it's and not. Heading towards um, civilians. Yeah, I mean depending on your position, maybe it's heading towards you, oh. but it seems to be heading towards uh, wherever the sort of like bucket line is sort of being coordinated from. Um okay. Oh, in that case I I'm gonna like be like no time, Winston, and like run towards the, the, the distortion. Oh, okay, great. Um, interesting. Yes, I used the wrong knot. As you run forward, puddles and um, Flynn, you're you're prepared. What 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 have you prepared actually? Oh, Flynn, right. Um. Flynn, well, Bianca's on the phone okay. with your mother. Um, Flynn will fire arrows in the hole when it... There was something about, like, fire around... arrows. Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe it was just firing arrows. Um, I think she just meant fire arrows. Okay, well, but we can... We, we if can she has fire arrows, I, I Figure that cool. out uh, as, it, as, as, it, as it goes. Um, yeah. the, the spot is pointed out. Um, Puddles, you start to run forward... And as you get there, I think both you and Cass sort of see at the same time, that is a bit different than you were expecting. Um, this, like, miniature hole, like, as big as, like, a fist, like, appears and immediately disappears again. Oh. Um, you realize you, you probably wouldn't have even noticed it had happened if you were not looking for it. Uh, oh. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure. Do do, we, do not get to fire it. I guess it's like a hard to hit, but um. Yeah, it doesn't like open to its like full size that like would swallow a person. It's just like a blip. Okay. So what I want to what I want to try to do is like get close to it so that it is chasing me, and right. then to try and like Benny Hill run in circles. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, as soon as it closes, like, that is sort of, like, coordinating with you approaching um, puddles. Um, there's not much time between it closing and you realizing it is going to open directly beneath you now. Um, now that you are close enough to open directly yeah. beneath. Um, and I think you're going to point to fly that so go out of another puddles. And likewise, puddles, you may, you don't even need to, like, make a deck save because you know it's going to happen before it does. You're not reacting to it happening. Um, if you want to just step back. 
Um, and it's, yeah, it's yeah, I want to like, like hide it. kind of just play chicken with it, right? Like I'm gonna like watch where it's gonna open, and I'm gonna try to just stay just out of range, but try mm. to get it to like reveal itself, try to get it to make itself vulnerable. Right. Yeah. Great. Um, so this as best I can plan works, right? Um, it tries to open beneath puddles. You are out of the way before it's even opened. Uh, it does open to its full, uh, you know, size. Um, this this black hole on the ground. Oh, full uh, radius. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's an appropriate way of saying that. Um, yeah. And uh, Flynn, are you back? I, I thought I heard something. Am I wrong? Oh, maybe when I was talking, you'd have heard her in the other room. Okay, so no? Yeah, that's a shame. Um, no, she's just a bit, like, she'll fire arrows and you can roll for her, if you don't mind. Yeah. All right, I will do so. So, uh, Cass, are you doing anything other than being a spotter here? Um, I think I might also shoot ice bolts at it. Okay. And it might also help, help like, fin, read the frost. I mean, and that might help Finn coordinate the arrows, too. So, yeah, it seems good. Great. All right. I'm going to make a normal... I, I would attack. fire these fire bolts, but I'm, I think it's probably more fair to say that I have to focus entirely on... Yeah, I think you're busy. ...being eight. <laughs> I'm rolling a longbow attack for Flynn. I get to 21... Wow. Uh, arrow perfectly spotted by you, Cass. Um, uh, right here, and you shoot a, a, a nice bolt. Um, did you actually do a, your own Ray of Frost? Is that your six there? I, did, I rolled a one, natural one. Great. Um, arrow pierces into where it would be the ice bolt flying through the air, the sort of beam of, of, of cold blue light. Um, both, as previously, sort of get distorted in the air right above it and, and sucked in. Um, oh, really? It hit? Um, yeah, I mean, it, your, your bolt went where you, like, intended it to, um, even if it may not have been a full strength, right? Um, if you, uh, if yeah. you were shooting somebody else, maybe they would have dodged out of the way because they were a moving target, or pop, perhaps it simply would have, like, fizzled on them, right? Previously, you saw that happen where you tried to make a nice bolt and it, it sort of, like, failed to could like do any damage even though it did connect when you failed previously right because it's oh, yeah. more about your it's not your aim we're testing here this isn't this is a intelligence check not a dexterity check right um, uh that makes sense, yeah. so it's about the constitution of the thing uh you don't like noticeably see it not be a well-formed bolt or anything that's not like super quantifiable um you simply see the light get sucked into this this uh this, this black hole on the ground um, All right. uh, once again, it, it snaps closed when, when that happens. Um, so far, you have not been able to gauge any effect from the uh, uh, assault. Yeah. What do you do? Um, I think very busy. I mean, like, I think, like, do we have a bomb or something to throw to the hole? Um, okay. Do you? Uh, um, do I have? Let's see. Um, can can I, I try to make? Or go ahead, guess. Oh, I think like I might light a light port in the intervening time and see if I can like uh throw that into a hole. Sure. Or or actually no, I I think I use it to like light the fifth arrows. Sorry. Oh, light, yeah, light ones arrows. Yeah, that'd be great, Cass. Great. Yeah. Wedge it in the part of the tree branch right here. This little crack. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Good, good, good call. Good call. Yeah. Uh, if I if I'm able, I'd like to make like some sort of observation check. Okay. Possibly Arcana to see if attacking the hole has had any like it's having any effect. Okay, yeah, I think it is an arcana check. It's not just about observing anything. Like, you don't feel like you just missed it with a poor perception or anything. You just haven't been able to identify any changes um, because you there's nothing obvious, like, physical that is changing. So I think an arcana check might be able to identify if there's anything possible to see. Um, 
Uh, uh. Now, I guess the question, I guess maybe as like a sorcerer, you might be able to like feel a change in like the mana of the world or whatever, some sort of magibabble. Um, or you could just be identifying what one would look for with their real eyes. I like the term match battle. I think either way it's the same check. I just think that that's sort of like the two different perspectives that it might be. Um, okay, that's an 18. You got an 18 on your arcana check. Um, thinking about it, well, you did... Hmm. You did look over those notes, and you even briefly read Jiraga's mind. I think even then, you're not finding... You're not coming up with anything that one would be able to uh, search for that would be identifiable. Um, something that would be noticeable with one's eyes. Um, well, well, reaching out well, fun, more uh, arcanely, well... You do think that maybe you'd be able to do something with, like, an actual spell, like Detect Magic. Um, okay. Well, I don't have that spell. Oh, one of you does. Uh, ooh. Oh, my Detect Magic! Yeah. Yay! Great, what do you do, Puddles? Um, I mean, I just keep doing what I'm, what I have been doing. It seemed like it was, there was some like debate on to, as to whether or not it was working, but it seemed like it was our best thing yet. So I'm going to keep doing that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't with, say anything you, are you, are you, are you, to Winston okay. though, right? Yeah. I, I, I mean, not really. I'm like, I can't tell. <laughs> like... You don't like you don't know that know Winston might be able to cast a tech magic. Is that what you're saying? I, I mean, maybe I know that. Um, do I know that detect magic will help us? Yeah, that's like, one of the things that you identified. Or, um. Well, I guess you don't I know guess, that it will. It just help. feels like you a little bit of a like... stretch for me to be like, "Oh, wow! Does anyone know how to cast detect magic?" Uh, I guess it's that's an interesting point. Let's Maybe I said, "Oh, that. I wish I wish I well, learned well, that." You know, you, you've done Winston for a long time, so I think that would be helpful for you to know what they can and can't do. Yeah, I just I no, I mean you make an interesting point. I'm Let's actually discuss with it narratively. that, right? Like narratively, we don't like are spells a quantified thing that is like penned, and in the wizard circles, it would be. And you were, even though you're a sorcerer, you did venture into wizarding situations, so you you would be aware at very least that like wizards have a spell that they specifically call detect magic but the theory of that spell is something that theoretically you could replicate if you if it came to you right like you don't learn magic in the wizarding way right um so the question is hey that theory does exist though and even though it wouldn't be the detect magic spell, right? You wouldn't think of it that way. The idea of being able to manipulate the weave, if you want to use that term, that's the official D and D term for magic stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, one could manipulate magic to locate and measure the magical potential in the area, right? So. Yeah, you wouldn't think of it as like, does anyone know detect magic? That is silly, and I agree with you on that. But you do know that Winston can manipulate yeah, magical can. energies. Perhaps that is within their capability. Does that help? Yeah. Or does that still feel yeah. silly? Um, I mean, that's not really so much my issue. My issue is more like what my reaction to the situation would be. Um... I hmm? I guess maybe I think something like if only I knew how to like if only I could see 
magic better or something like that. Like that's right. But well, either way, I don't know. It feels a bit weird. Winston, you Let's go. have uh, you know, I see you've posted the the detect magic spell. Um, what do you think is going through Winston's head, right? You have been... Uh, you were attempting to, you know, tie this rope around and be the anchor for Puddles. Um, Puddles runs out, this sort of shape appears beneath them, and they get out of the way, and they sort of are kiting it back and forth, um, and thinking... I don't I guess you don't, like, see them thinking about arcane stuff or anything that's silly, but... Uh, you know, I think it is something you've even like kind of considered previously, but didn't really. Why was it silly? Motion. I am telepathic. That is fair. I guess we could always just do that. Yes. Uh, yeah, should have said so sooner. Yeah, I mean that's probably the 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 easiest answer is literally you you you're thinking about magic stuff. You you transmit your arcane ideas that come to you. To those around you, um, including Winston. Yeah, sorry if I wasn't clear with that. That's that is actually what I intended was like the the best way to make sense of it to me would be that like maybe you guys can like kind of feel going what's going through my head and what's going through my head is like oh I wish I you know wish I could detect magic like maybe I don't say maybe I could wish I could cast detect magic maybe I just say maybe think to myself oh I wish I could see could see energy right great so and Winston, maybe you think to yourself you, like hey i can do that hear that in your mind and uh we see you casting detect magic have we seen you cast detect magic before Winston? Uh, one time i think i kind of forgot what i do hard to I say i just sort of oh oh yeah i i lay on the floor like stomach on the floor and then i just feel the vibrations of the magic I mean, that uh -huh. seems like it will probably work, yeah. Um, we yeah. see Winston um, sort of stop and, 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 and breathe and then lower their body to lie on the floor. Uh, it, it looks very much like somebody lying on train tracks. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's precarious, but you're feeling the vibrations of the oncoming train. And... Um, not only as you open yourself up to the energies um, are you immediately identifying like this amorphous shape within the ground, right? You you know exactly where it is. Not just like um, Cass and Puddles have been able to sort of see it as it approaches the surface, but you're seeing it moving between the ground um, as, uh, you know, between like the layers of, of dirt or rock or whatever you're standing on right now. Um, yeah, I think so. Like a sixth sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, you are um, able to feel this. This it is strong tr transmutational magic. And when we think about magic, there is levels of like power, right? Um, a fireball is a much more powerful spell than fire bolt is, right? Um, uh, yeah. And since you did not measure the power of this spell when it was originally cast. It's difficult to know whether or not that power is waning or not, um, but it does still feel very powerful to you in this moment. Um, so, as I the guess there's like continues, a... you might be able to identify if it's changing, but currently all you know is that it is staggeringly powerful. Like, you, it, it feels like the thrum of a furnace beneath your your body on the ground. Oh no, I'm getting nervous. Okay. I'm starting to think maybe it's better. I to think that there's like everyone. I think there's also an assumption here that is kind of um maybe not uh not aligned some of the time, which is that like I kind of assumed that this pole was Jiraga. Okay. Because, like, Draga turned into the puddle, and then the puddle disappeared, and this thing started attacking us. Mm -hmm. So, but you also described it as the spell. So it's like maybe Draga is somewhere else, and this is just the spell that Draga cast. Hmm. 
So like, is there any way for us to like distinguish between that? Oh yeah, is it like a circle, like like an orb of something, or is it like there's a string attached to it? Like, like is it a thing? is it a person? Does it feel like it's a magical person, or does it feel like it's a magical spell? Hmm. As you think on this, Winston, um, I feel like you're gonna have to take a second to like really parse the magic, um, as the moments are ticking on. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump over to what everyone's doing in those like short seconds uh, and then i will come back to you on that mm-hmm. so okay puddles casts flynn you are you you're simply continuing the assault is this is this accurate to say yeah yes okay um mm-hmm. so with that in mind uh since you're here now flynn um w- what actually are you doing you're simply just taking shots with the with your longbow um yeah i'm just uh i'm i'm the sniper with my now fiery arrows and Cass is my cider. Yeah. And yes, your arrows have been people. inflamed. How was how did that happen? That was just like a, you 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 flint I let a torch with my tinder box All quickly right, yeah. and uh, the yeah. tinder box stuff. Great. Yeah, we wedged it in a tree branch, and I'm just kind of like right before I fired the arrow, I just like light the shaft right behind the um, the arrowhead. Great. Yeah. Fire. I think that seems reasonable. So your arrows are now on fire. Um. Cass, you are spotting for um, Flynn. Puddles, you are keeping its attention uh, quite well. Uh, It does seem to continue to try to get at you, Puddles, uh, despite the previous failures. Um, It opens, and I'm not even going to ask for a roll here. You've got a spotter. You've got a plan. Um, So time ticks on. One shot. Another shot. Um... Same effect as before. It ventures, uh, you know, towards the the hole and then gets distorted in the air and sucked into it and then snaps closed again. Um, Winston, as you are focusing on the magical energy of um, both the sort of amorphous shape within the ground and then when it rises to the surface and becomes this hole on the surface of the ground, um, you're focusing on a few things. One... Um, does the power of it feel like it is waning as it absorbs these hits? Uh, two, um, can you trace it back to a caster? Like, is this a spell linked to its owners? Which is a thing, right? Um, when you cast a spell, um, often, not always, but often, you can trace it back to the, the caster because they are maintained effects. You know how, like, when you cast in- Entangle, uh, if you stop concentrating, the the foliage will, like, flop back into innate like not innate inert inanimate uh plants right right? they they'll return to normal because you had to concentrate and concentrating on it there is that like noticeable connection um so as you as 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 you know one shot two shot three shot and you're feeling it out um i think i'm gonna ask you to make an arcana check actually you could make a nature check instead because of the nature of your magic, whichever you prefer. Okay, um, oh, so <laughs> this is specifically about the, um, for anyone listening, that is a natural one, um, with no modifier. I see you have no, uh, benefit arcana, which is common for druids because it's keyed off of intelligence, which is silly, and I don't know, I probably should let you add, like, a few stats to that, but it's not going to change a natural one. Wouldn't affect anything. You are trying to find, is there a owner to this spell? Does it go anywhere? Does it connect to anything? And you're not finding one, but you can't help but wonder, is it just obfuscated? Is it, um, am I just not picking up on it? It is hard to identify anything other than the spell itself because as you detect magic, it is so loud, right? It is like blinding or deafening or or whatever the word you want for uh, suppressing your senses, right? You can't, you find it difficult to identify like uh, Puddles' magic or Cass's magic as, as you, while you can identify this spell any other magic is so dim in comparison you barely notice it so it's entirely possible that there is this like 
faint thread connecting this spell to someone else and you simply cannot pick it up. Could, could it Winston try again over time? or uh... I think so. I think so. Um, but you notice something else. And this is not affected by your role. This is something you would have gotten anyway. Um, that role was specifically about trying to find the host for the spell. Um, as time goes on, as like one shot, two shot, three shot pierces into it, you think, and it's really hard to tell because it's so... Actually, no, I want a second Arcana check for this. I'm sorry. I want a second check. Okay, this is a 14 this time. You are now focusing on simply... Can she use her nature? Yeah, yeah, yeah Arcana or nature, either way. Um, they're both intelligence checks. It would probably doesn't change anything. Um, well, she probably has a nature modifier. Possibly. Um, um... Either way, you are focusing now on this, like, how loud this energy is, right? The fact that the spell is so strong and everything else feels weak means that that is the one thing you are focused on at this moment. And so, when you think, when you try to determine, now that it has taken a few attacks, since I started focusing on the power of the magic, am I noticing a change in that power? And you are. And it's growing. Oh. Uh-oh. Could it be absorbing the, the tax that people have been doing to it? You can't help but think that. Do you tell us to stop? Do you say anything? Uh... I would. I do want to say just like for a moment, just butt in here. I love the image of like puddles is like kiting it back and forth. And Cast is spotting and maybe even like throwing the occasional um, uh, frost I, I, frost I, ray yeah, and um, uh, uh, lighting the fire for um, Flynn for 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 his arrows. And then Winston is just lying on the ground next to you, <laughs> like just <laughs> lying there. <laughs> <laughs> completely inert it's a very good image um anyway please continue <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, yeah so i just call out it's getting stronger it's getting stronger with each hit how can this be possible oh no um oh it is bad news Winston. that is the opposite of what i wanted to hear yeah I, I think I called Swinson, like, is there, like, some other, like, source of, of, of this thing? Like, pet, pet? Oh, gosh. Oh, it just feels like an orb. There might be something connected to it, but I, I really can't make it out. Can you try again? I rolled a one! <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever think about, like, sometimes people use game-isms in real life because they're a part of our world? So, like, D&D nerds will refer to a situation as rolling a nat 1. Yeah. Yeah, like, I've heard people Like, that is a like, thing. Yeah, like, the way that... If you ever write anything in, like, sci-fi or, like, just in the future, it's... It feels weird because you're like, people in the world should be referring to game mechanics, but they might actually do that. Like, that's a thing people do sometimes. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, if you're doing a Shadowrun yeah, game, like, like, you could totally where they, say... Where, like, the elder of buffs. Like... Yeah, totally. Yeah. He's buffing them! <laughs> yeah. You got a nerf. Yeah. <laughs> refer to, uh, stat games. In real life. Yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry. I, I completely derailed that. But, uh, yeah, 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 I yeah, mean... Yeah. Sorry? Sorry, nothing. Never mind. Um, Winston, yeah. Um, you are lying there. I guess, like, having just said that, presumably you stop attacking, I guess. Um... Uh, Puddles, it is still trying to, like, get at you, though. That hasn't changed. So, 
uh, what what is what is the plan? Because I think there's something to be said for oh maybe maybe Winston can try to to track it back, um, but that again might take some time. And second of all, just what are you doing in that meantime? Right? Are you continuing to to tight it? Are you simply trying to escape? How's the like fire looking radius? with the bucket for bathe? I think it's fine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> They've had time. Okay, okay, it's going down. Yeah, it's going down. Right. Um. I think I feel like the idea to cast. Okay, well, let me cast and leave. But I think the idea to cast occurs that there might be a source where we last left Draga. Um. Sure. But also, like, I'm the one that can see where the. Where, where, where it's going to open up, which might be shaped means I should probably stay around, stick around. So puddles can too. I guess, I I guess I'm not sure if you know that, but puddles can too. Yeah, I, I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess I know puddles being able to do it too. Um, yeah. I think I, so. I think in that case, I might just say like puddle, like uh, go go for puddles. Uh, I I gotta go check something. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna run into the uh. Uh, the building. Now the fire seems to be like diminishing. Great. Um, okay, so you scamper down the tree, bolt off. Um, uh, you are all aware, effectively, where, uh, ostensibly, where the spell, let's call it, uh, is in the ground. Um, and you can you know, preempt it or track it as you needed. Um, what are those of you who are staying here doing? Um, are you doing anything to prevent it from... Uh, I guess I don't know what that would mean. Never mind. But, uh, yeah. Have at it. Uh, I, I don't know. We have no ability to do... <laughs> As far as we can tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Flynn's at a loss. Okay. Uh, Cass, you run off. Uh, Flynn, you put down your bow and consider what to do next as you are perched in this tree. Puddles, I assume you continue to, like, you know, dodge out of the way of it just because you don't want to I was thinking I might retreat to my rocks. Uh, sure. Yeah, you sort of make your way over to um, sort of the edge of the hot springs itself i guess and then up on the rocks um uh winston well i meant my like stonehenge rocks i used the stonehenge rocks cool remember in like the first episode i was talking about my rocks i wasn't clear what those rocks were um cool no of course it wasn't clear yeah why <laughs> <laughs> would it be clear it'd be crazy <laughs> all right um if you wander off winston will be lying here on the ground alone um winston do you want to get up? I, I feel like I want to sense if, uh, if the power level where it is, it stopped going up once yeah. we stop attacking. Okay. And, and also, like, also like, wait if you can try to find a source. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I try to find the string that attaches it to its owner. So, Puddles, you consider walking off. As you consider this... You know it's still there. You know Winston's on the ground. Um, what do you do? Do you just leave? Oh, well, I was intending for it to follow me, like, to continue. So, so you're going to sort of slowly off. try and kite it along? Okay. Moving a little uh, bit at a time. I don't know. I just, like, maybe there's some, like... Like, in my rocks would be some sort of, like, ritual circle that I've built up for the time that I was here. Yeah, it's interesting. And then maybe that would be of some help, but I don't know. I'm just pulling stuff out of my hat. I'm a, you should. That is that is the the you know the backbone of D and D. Um, all role playing games really. So okay. that makes me think I need to make a check because I don't know if it wants to follow you or not. When there's such a ample body here lying on the ground you were able to keep its attention while you were staying nearby but as you try to move away and kite it that way will it go for you or will it head over towards winston unless you want to you know try to do something to force it to do one way or the other 
But uh, until then, I'm, well, I'm, I, I'm going to try to continue to make myself be the nearest thing. How are you doing that? I, it doesn't seem to be very intelligent. No, it does not. How, what are you doing to like make yourself more enticing? Be oh, so, oh, just take high contact. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, you do as you were doing before and not moving more than like 15 feet away from it and it tries to grab you and then you move again and it tries to grab you and then you move again. And as you are drifting further and further away from Winston, the hot springs, the any remaining um, um, visitors, um, you notice it doesn't follow you. It, it um, uh, watching from above, Flynn, you see that, once again, it doesn't reappear under puddles. It appears as, like, a fist-sized hole back the other way. Um, uh, not going to its full amount. It's not trying to swallow anything. It's simply hopping. It's simply rising and for a second and then disappearing again to continue off that way. Um, and... It would be simple to assume that it is going for Winston. Um, that said, all that took a little bit of time. Winston, during this time, you have been focusing on it. Feeling out how strong it is. Um, feeling if you can detect any um, source or controller of this spell. Um, would you like to make me another check? of some variety and as previously mentioned right you have other options available to you you don't have to necessarily do an arcana check um your understanding of magic is about nature it's about about the world um even something like insight might be actually relevant just because of the Ooh. way that you are reaching out into the universe um so find a check that you want to roll and ask me if it's import, 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 relevant okay uh, 23 insight sense. i feel like that is appropriate because you are you're not using insight to understand a person, but you are using insight to understand a thing, right? Uh, I think insight's not often used this way, and I think it should be. So I'm going to let it happen. Um, as you sort of feel into the, the nature of it, you're less blinded by the power of the arcane magic of it all um, because you are focusing less on that aspect and more on the nature of it. Um, through the overwhelming glow of magic. And again, I'm describing it in these senses. It's not visual, right? It is a, a, a extra sense that you're using here. Uh, for you, it's more like a rumbling, because as you were saying, you're, you're feeling the vibrations of it. Um, but through that, you sort of break through this loud force of the powerful magic... And you do feel Jiraga is within there. Jiraga is not tied to it. They are this thing. Uh, mm -hmm. you, are, you are certain of that in this moment. Um, that said, it does appear to be coming for you. You think in the next, I'm going to say like five seconds or so, it will attempt to appear beneath you and swallow you up. Oh, I'm going to jump up and um, can I attempt to use Entangled and send vines down into the hole and see if I can hit anything? I think you could. Okay, As you, you get up, you, you, you know where it is because you can feel it with the Detect Magic. Um, even though you did get up off the ground, you still know where it was i'm not gonna like limit your ability to use detect magic and you have to be lying on the ground but i do like that flavor so i kind of want to lean into it um but you know you know where it was as you got up and you stomp the ground and rise the the, the plant life in the area the, the grass of the forest floor um like grass whatever you know what i mean plant life uh shrubbery whatever it happens to be here um and it comes alive um, with nothing to grab initially. And then the hole opens where you had previously been at the edge of this radius. Um, and all of that 
plant life uh, attempts to like reach into the hole and like hold it open um and there is a struggle and anyone watching can see the like twisting and distorting visually like like light bending as it tries to you know suck the the entangling plant life into the hole and the plant life trying to hold the hole open um there is this you know pregnant pause as it stays open longer than we have seen it before what does everyone do i guess i'm in the and uh, is it outside the thing yeah i don't outside, think you're there right the now Cass. so we should cut over to what you're doing I, but well, unfortunately sorry i i'm not saying anything useful i that seems like a decent spot to stop it tonight honestly I don't know. I don't know what we can do. We've tried doing things that just made us stronger. Sure. It's um, open, did, I guess. Did Winston tell us that they think Jurok is inside? Like while they were casting that, that like just game. happened. So, sure, you can have a scene where you're doing that right now. But yeah, it like just happened. Mm -hmm. Feel yeah, free. I was thinking about maybe going inside and seeing if I can do anything from the inside, but that seems mostly foolish. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I might. I probably won't. I, I can hold my breath for an hour. Oh, oh good. <laughs> True. Yeah, I, I, I guess like. In the face. Yeah, I guess that is a good time to stop. Yeah, I, 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 I'm allowed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely on board with that. Um, I had sort of like another beat I was thinking might happen, but this is a perfectly good spot to stop. Um, you have the the portal barred, as it were. Like, it is held open for the time being. Perhaps some idea will come to you uh, in the uh, mere moments that, you know, a week's worth of thought <laughs> concentrated into a moment. Maybe you'll think of something. Uh, but yeah. If everyone's happy to end there, I'm happy to end there, too. Um... Actually, yeah, let's Cass, let's let's, let's 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 have a little scene with you first. You ran off. All right. We so the the hole is being held open. Everyone sort of you know we get a shot of everyone's faces. They look back at it like, oh, this is maybe our opportunity to do something. And then we cut to Cass. What's Cass doing? Uh, I'm 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 going to the room where we where like Drago was. Probably everything's like all cinched now, but like mm -hmm. trying to. Uh... Yeah, we see you walking through the like not like burned down, but like you know scorched uh hot springs um buildings and and in and such um and you make your way to that room where they were yeah see if anything's changed and anything changed as you walk in look around give me a perception check real quick okay just real quick real quick perception check I am. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's my free. No, that's a six. Hey, what? I'm seeing oh, a six oops. on my screen. And, um. <laughs> I was looking at the last uh, uh, thing. Yeah, sorry. you were scrolled up to see Mocha's roll. Um. Yeah, I don't think I can give you anything on that. You look around, and it is barren. It is empty. It it doesn't seem to have... You, like, no one stayed in this room, right? This was, like, just a, a spot you held them in. So there's not even, like, yeah. the warmth of someone having previously slept in a bed or anything. It is just sort of, like, yeah. a sterile environment. Maybe it like, feels, it, like, it, a it, little... It, 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 sure. I mean, yeah, it's not preventative of that or anything, but, and honestly, there might not have been much fire in here anyway, I think it was like a stone room or something, it was a little unclear, but the specifics, but mm -hmm. the point being is, I think it might even, like, stand out a little bit, like, we get a shot of Cass walk in, look around, and be like, it's quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> I and think we is... cut on that. <laughs> Say that, that, yeah. Great. Um, 
thank you for joining me. I'm sorry my, uh, that it felt um, like it unable to, uh, you know, affect this force that you were fighting against. Uh, hopefully that made it compelling and not frustrating, but I, I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for joining me. Yeah. Hey, thank you for running. Yeah. Thank you for running, yeah. All right. Thank well, we have been Hot Springs and Hydras. See you next time. <laughs> have a good night. Bye. Good night, everyone. Night. Good night. night.